Welcome to my YouTube channel Evergreen Arts and Craft. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how can you make this sweet, cute, cute, okay, cute, <laughs> cute um, bear <laughs> rattle, <laughs> not cute. Okay, so in this video, <laughs> we will learn this, of course. And to make this, you will need uh, these bear shaped coasters. In my previous video, I have teach you guys how can you make these bear coasters. If you don't know that video, I'm going to put the link in the description box down below. And here I have taken this, I was having this wooden ring. You can buy this from the craft store. I have add some um, wooden beads in yarn and make a ring and attach it to it. Then I add the name of the little um, child I wanted to give this to in here. So I add the pearls and the name beads in a memory wire and attach it to this uh, wooden piece. So this is super easy to make and there are two bells here. These are optional. If you wanted to add, you can go ahead and add these. And if you don't want it to, just leave it like that. So let's get started with the video. Okay, so you will be needing two pieces of coasters, bear coasters, and your um, crochet hook in which you made these coasters, the same size one. I am adding a white contrasting yarn to attach these two pieces you will need some um, fabric stuffing uh, fiber st stuffing <laughs> not what is wrong with me not the fabric stuffing fiber stuffing uh, you will need that too as well and your yarn needle so first you're going to make a little knot attach this to your um, needle yarn sorry your hook then you're going to take your two pieces, make sure that you take the front part to both the sides. Then lay those two pieces together. We will start right from here where we did our slip stitch. Kindly go to the video so it will be easy for you to understand this one. So here right at the end of this air we have the slip stitch. After that, we are going to add our hook. Hmm. Okay, so here is the point where we did a slip stitch. And after this, there is a stitch with the front loop and the back loop. Insert your hook into the back loop. And from your back piece, insert your hook to the front loop, like towards you. this loop right here and attach with a slip stitch now keep doing this all the way around insert your hook to the back loop of the next stitch and the front loop like from this side that will be the front loop and if you see from that side that will be the back loop so take that one loop and do a slip stitch into the next back loop and this loop right here okay the camera is not focused yeah okay this loop right here and pull it through and do a slip stitch into the next take your back loop and this loop right here and do a slip stitch and I am going to do slip stitch all the way till I reach to this ear and then I'm going to tell you what we have to do next okay so now we are done with this till we reach to this ear part and now when you reach here what you have to do insert your hook right at the back loop and to the loop behind like this one get your first double crochet get your first double crochet and do a single crochet over it okay 
into the next loop do a single crochet into the next double crochet top loops the back loop and the front loop of the other side do a single crochet and remember we have made the five double crochets so that's why we have to make five single crochets so three are done four and the last one is here five like that and now we did a six one slip stitch and six single crochet ignore the slip stitch and from the next single crochet do a slip stitch till you reach to the next ear keep slip stitching and make sure that you slip stitch a little loose not too tight sorry from the back loop and from the back you will take this loop right next stitch front loop sorry back loop and the back loop of your next piece And now at this point we are going to stuff in the stuffing to our um, bear head. So take your fiber stuffing and stuff in. You can add eyes and face to it but I don't feel to add eyes and face. If you wanted to you can go ahead and add the little eyes and make a smile don't overfill it but don't um, fill too less that the air will be like you know the fall down I think I'm done with the filling Okay, once your filling is done, continue the same process to the other ear. Let me finish the last stitch. Okay, and now start, ignore your slip stitch. You have to ignore the slip stitch. And from the very first stitch, grab the back loop in the front loop, that one, first double crochet, do a single crochet. Grab this loop from the back, grab this loop, and do a single crochet. By doing a single crochet, you will see that the ear shape is still proper um, round edge from this side, okay? One, two, three, four. and do a slip stitch in this side of our work because this is the end point so you have to take your ignore slip stitch make a slip stitch and right into the first slip stitch where we made insert your hook in and do a slip stitch and chain one and then you have to just Cut the yarn 
and your bear is nicely stuffed. Okay, so I'm going to hide this tail later. Just just hide them randomly. You don't need to worry about. Take your ring and make a loop. Take your uh, um, crochet hook. Pass it through like under and then take a yarn and pass it through this loop you have made like that and now we have to do is single crochets tightly as tight as possibly you can do just keep doing single crochets there is no uh, counting of the stitches what I do is I um, add the stitches till here that I get a little bit part of the wood um, left left what <laughs> what is wrong with me okay I'm going to fill in this ring till here and there are no counting into the stitches so just keep doing it the single crochet is at as tight as possible so I'm going to fill my wooden ring and I'll be back and so sorry that I am I don't know why what is wrong with me today that my tongue is like twisting okay I am actually a little bit tired because of my online work I was having orders and I made the orders first and then I thought why not to make this video for you guys so I am a bit tired so I am so sorry that in this video I am like making such mistakes so you have to do this till you are happy with your um, work so I'll be back okay so I'm happy with my work till here and now at the end I'm going to take a yarn and I'm going to do just a basic slip stitch and again a chain one and then cut my tail of the yarn and I'm going to take my sewing needle yarn needle and I'm going to hide the tail so I'll be back once the tails are hidden just pass it through under of under these stitches and then you have to cut the yarn okay once you are done with sewing the ends now we are ready to attach these two pieces now attaching these two pieces doesn't have any pattern I just randomly attach like from I just found that the center part and then I keep attaching like from five stitches here and five stitches here so you are going to take your tapestry needle and you're going to like randomly measure the center we don't you can go ahead and add the inch tape and but it doesn't need that okay perfect so insert your yarn needle make sure that your thread is uh, your yarn is double and then pass it through the okay through the top stitch right here and this is going to be the center so I'm going to attach five stitches from this side or four and four or five stitches from this side depending on how does this look so take your yarn yeah, from the back and this is one Three. Oh, sorry, four and five. So don't worry about these stitches because we are going to cover those from a ribbon. Now pass it from the under of this bear 
and bring it towards the left side bring your needle here and attach your five more stitches in here So I'm going to do that and then all you have to do just lock the stitch And the last stitch. Yeah, perfect. Now I'm going to do is just make a regular knot at the back of this work and pass it through the couple of stitches. and take it right into this bare head press and cut and there your bare head is attached to this piece and now we are going to add these rings if you wanted to add if you wanted to keep it simple you can just attach these two um, bells but I'm not attaching bells to this one I'm taking my gold ribbon and I'm going to first attach the ribbon here at the front so take your ribbon around like a long piece <laughs> and then make a knot not too tight not too loose make an other knot so it's nicely secure and now we are going to make a bow And now, oops, sorry, 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 you have to cut the ribbon. Well, even that, that looks really nice as well. So here you can add whatever you like to embell embellishments or you can leave it like that. It's on you. And now for the ring part, you will need a wooden beads or whatever kind of beads you have. Here I'm having a really colorful bead with me. I'm having these crowns, having these crowns, and then stars, whatever you have. Then I have these um, wooden beads here. So I'm going to combine the colorful beads and the wooden ones together. So take your, um, this needle right here. And now you have to go and switch your needle to a little bit thinner needle. You cannot work with a thick needle right now. So I'm taking this and add your yarn like that. And now what you have to do is let's see. Now we are going to keep adding the beads, whatever beads you like. I'm adding the stars, the wooden beads together, the one which the crown one.
the hearts to? I didn't know that. Anyway. Just keep adding the random beads. Whatever beads you have, whatever beads you like. And I need more. And I think this is okay. The ground is done. Okay, now to attach this part. First you have to cut the yarn a little bit shorter. Now attach, insert this to this point here. And make a knot. One, tighter. And then the next tighter knot. And the third one and now take your needle and pass it through the opposite direction of your beads and pass through the couple of stitches sorry couple of uh, beads and cut and now the other tail we have to do exactly the same thing that you have to take this to the opposite beads end. Why the hell is my camera is okay. pass it through the beads. I don't know what is wrong with the camera. and cut Ta-da! I know it's not properly in circle but it look really cute okay now you can add whatever and how many of these you want to I'm going to add I think one more and I'll be back okay so here I have attached two of these different kind of pieces to my rattle and now I am attaching this one um then okay we just fall down uh hmm so then i am peeking it up that so <laughs> i'm going to attach this right here because i don't really like this knot so i am taking a thread and a needle matching thread to your ribbon And take your bell and attach your bell to this front part. If you have any kind of funky buttons, I, actually I don't have any funky buttons. That is why I'm attaching this bell. If you have any, you can go ahead and attach the really nice and funky buttons those will work absolutely fine so i'm going to attach this and show you the final product okay so here are the final product and i hope you have enjoyed today's video tutorial i'm extremely sorry for my uh some of the little mistakes um, because I was so tired as I have told you in between the video. Thank you so much. I hope you have enjoyed today's video tutorial. If you are new on my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much everyone for your love and care. Take care. Bye-bye.